going to be up close and personal with somebody. You're going to be like all up in their face, right? You're not going to have the ability to get distance from them. And think about it. We're drawing our gun and we're putting it out there. If I draw my gun and put it out there, what's going to happen? Matt, come on in here for a second. But we're going to just take one step for step. And what I want you to do is I want you to watch Commencer. He's going to reach in and try to grab my wrist. So basically, just grab my wrist. He's got it. Okay? Let go. Now, I'm going to take a step, and he's going to take one step commensurate to my step. We're not doing it for speed. We're just doing it commensurate to each other. And as I step out, he's going to step in. But we're going to do the same thing. Go. He's got my hand. Doesn't he? Okay? Now, I'm going to do the same thing. You ready? Go. He is just, even if he reaches just outside my range, he's got to reach in more. And obviously, I'd be moving commensurate if he's moving in more. And we can do it at speed. You ready? Whenever you're ready. Bang. Okay, where's my hand? It's on my rib cage. Okay? If you notice, I pushed him off, but my hand was above my other hand. Now, I don't recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing because you can shoot yourself. But the point I'm trying to make is if I do this, you ready? Step in. Go. He's got my gun. And that's how we traditionally are taught to draw, right? Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and step in. And from here, where's my gun? From this guy, from this side. You guys can see where I am. So I threw him off. I have elbows, I have hands. But now my gun is also protected. Try to reach in again. Okay? So no matter what he does, I can just off-step him. Now, we're not going to be able to play that game here. Just act like you're a target. Don't move. Do like this. Do like, ha! Bang, bang, bang. Okay. Well, if that really happened while I'm doing that, ah! he's going to put his hands all over my gun and put it out of battery. Okay? Yeah. It's not really going to work. What really needs to happen in something like this is if he comes after me, I need to go up under him and get my gun out. Okay? He wasn't expecting that. All right? <coughs> I'm not going to have time to go right the gun. So I'm going to show you how to do this going right the gun, but you need to understand you're not going to be able to go right the gun. You're going to have to do something first, okay? But you're going to need to know how to go to gun after. So this isn't your first line of defense. This is how do you go to the gun after. Fair so enough. I've got two hips. The thing about hip shooting is I don't need to get up into the face right away. If I hit you here in the hips, there's a lot of vessels and mobility, right, Bernard? They yeah, teach you that, yeah. right? Hit the hips first because it affects mobility and then start zipping them up, okay? But my first shot's got to be a good shot. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to step back and put my hand on my chest as I grab my gun. The gun's going to come to my rib cage. It's not going to be out here. I want to put it in the hips. Right in the hips, just by turning my body, okay? Ideally, what I'm looking for is something like this. So if you notice, we went low, we went to the chest, we went to the head. I'll do it again. I'll get in closer personal. Somebody say up. Up. Doesn't look like much, doesn't take much. But again, you're not going to have the ability to do this unless you already did something first. You're not going to be able to do it with somebody right in your face, okay? But we're going to practice it. So what I want everybody to do is step in. You can go put your camera down. Mm -hmm.